Hello again. Hey. It's your favorite teaching team, Emily <laughs> and Tracy. Um, I received a question. This question comes from Nora of the second grade um, about linking verbs. And she came across this uh, in some of her work. And she wrote to me at mrs.fortune at wheatonmontessori.org to ask me, what is a linking verb? And so um, I have Emily here to help me demonstrate with our sentence analysis material. You won't have this material at home, although there's nothing stopping you from drawing these arrows and circles and making your own sentence analysis material. So um, the first sentence that I would like to analyze with you is this one, Daisy is a puppy. So the first thing we want to identify in our sentence is our predicate. And of course our red circle represents action. So we're looking for the verb essentially. We're looking for the predicate in a sentence. So um, let me give you a moment to identify it. It's a tricky one. Mm, I think I know it. Okay. Okay. Do you, Go for I, it. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's is. Okay. Is. Why don't you cut out that verb, that okay. predicate, and put it on our red circle. It's one of the verbs we use most, and it's the hardest one sometimes to notice in, in a sentence. Okay. So then the next thing we want to find is our subject. And if you need the reminder, we can rem remember that the question is, who or what is it that is? So what do you think? Uh, Daisy. Daisy. Yeah, Daisy is the subject of our sentence. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and put that right there. And then we want to see, does this sentence have a direct object? So here's our helpful question. Daisy is what? A puppy. Yeah, she is a puppy. Yeah. And so we've identified our direct object. But you'll notice that the puppy is Daisy. It's referring back to our subject. So this verb is, is linking Daisy and puppy. So we have a linking verb here. Um, did, did you have some more thoughts about linking verbs? Because that's a pretty simple yeah, I, example. Um, I think that that was perfect, actually, that it doesn't necessarily express an action, but that it, um, it refers, it, refers um, it, it connects. Mm -hmm or links, <laughs> there you go, Hence the, name. Uh, the subject to a word um, or words in the predicate. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the other forms of the verb to be, which is mm -hmm. where we get the word is, would also often be linking verbs. Our light has gone away somehow. Um, such as um, are. We are teachers. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be able to explore, there's the light back you're going to be able to explore um, in your reading and maybe in your writing, you'll identify some more linking verbs. And this would be a great thing to just make a list. If you have a notebook handy or a piece of paper, make a list of the, of the different linking verbs that you find. Okay. Um, along with linking verbs, you might also come across a reference to helping verbs. Mm -hmm. And those are a little different. So I have one of those to show you as well. So I'm going to return my items to their original spot. Um, we're going to keep on using our friend Daisy as our, um, trying to put that somewhere where you can actually read it. It says, Daisy was barking this morning. True, huh? Ripped from the headlines. So much yep. barking. <laughs> so much barking. Okay. Yeah. So once again, we want to start out by finding our predicate. So what would your, what would our predicate be in this sentence? Okay. It's, uh, it's was barking. Oh, and I yeah. have to, I have to say both of those because it wouldn't make sense to say Daisy barking or Daisy was this morning. Daisy was barking. Right. So we actually have a little phrase here. We have a, pred a predicate phrase or a verb phrase. Um, so, uh, then the next thing we want to find is our subject who was barking. It was not my cat, Alice, <laughs> uh, or any of the humans in our house. It was Daisy. Okay. Yeah. So Daisy Daisy's our barking. subject once again. Yeah. And then we want to, of course, check and see if this sentence has a direct object. 
Um, mm. So Daisy was barking, whom or what this morning? Does this morning answer the question? Does that question even make sense? No. Oh. So we do not have a direct object in this sentence. This is the part where I would make you get out all of the orange arrows and line them all up. Um, but we're not going to make you watch us do all of that anal analysis. Um, so this morning is telling us about when Daisy was barking. So we have uh, an adverbial extension here. This says when this morning. So we have an adverbial extension of time. Yeah. Um, so back to our predicate, as Ms. Searcy said, when um, we want to express that something happened in the past and it's over, we like to use a phrase like this, was barking. And in this case, our, um, our verb was, which is another form of the verb to be, past tense, um, has to help the verb barking to express that this has happened and is over. So um, we have a helping verb here. Was is now acting like a helping verb to go along with our verb barking. So yeah. make another list of helping verbs while you're at it. Yeah. Okay. Um, would it be too confusing for me to say something else about Keep linking going. verbs? Nope. Okay. So um, verbs that um, give us some information about the senses, like if something looks or feels or sounds or smells or tastes, those are often linking verbs. Um, those are linking verbs. So this is a little clue yeah. uh, if it's a verb that involves the senses. Um, all right. So for Nora and for, I have a few others in mind who I think are going to be interested in exploring this. And upper L, this is a great one for you guys mm -hmm. to explore. I will, um, I've got a couple pages from some books here. I will go ahead and photocopy and I will get them out to you so you can explore a little more. Cool. Okay. Great. Bye guys. Bye-bye. Take care.